Here we are going to solve this equation. When we solve an equation, that means isolate the variable or get the variable by itself. So this is the same thing as isolate the variable. So the variable in this question is n. Our goal is to get n by itself so that we can find the value of n that will satisfy this equation and get this side of the equation equal to this side of the equation. So to start off, we need to distribute because we want to get rid of these brackets. A distribute means we're going to take that negative 5 and multiply it with both terms inside of these brackets. So negative 5 times negative 7 gives us positive 35. Then negative 5 times negative 3n is going to give us positive 15 n. And that's the left side of the equation. Now on the right side of the equation, the negative 1 plus 6 n stays the same for now. Now we're going to collect like terms so that the variables are on one side of the equation, or of the equal sign, and the numbers, the constants, are on the other side of the equal sign. And that's how we're going to get the n by itself. So I'm going to do that by taking this plus 6n and moving it to the left-hand side. And then I'm going to take the positive 35 and move it to the right-hand side. So when you do that, you have to use the opposite operation. If I want to move the plus 6n to the left-hand side, I'm going to do minus 6n. So I have 15n minus 6n on one side. On my right-hand side, I still have the negative 1. If I have positive 35 here, I'm going to move it to the other side by doing minus 35. And so now you see that I have both n terms on the left-hand side, and I have both constant terms on the right-hand side. Now we're going to combine them. 15n minus 6n gives us 9n. And negative 1 minus 35 gives us negative 36. So now we have one step left. We still have this 9 times n on the left-hand side. We want to get the n by itself. So the opposite of times 9 is divided by 9. So we're going to divide by 9 on both sides of the equation. This cancels out the 9, and we're left with n equals negative 36 divided by 9 is negative 4. So the answer here is n equals negative 4. This means if I go back to the original equation and sub in negative 4 when I see where I see n, I should get a balanced equation, meaning the same number on the left-hand side as the right-hand side.